Hi, so here's some key points about economics at university and business studies or management at university. Um, first of all, let's look at economics. If you want to do economics, beware that it's very different to A-level. A lot of the issues that you might enjoy writing about and discussing at A-level um, aren't really approached in the same way at university. Um, so the key thing about economics at university is maths, maths, maths. For the vast majority of economics degrees, nearly all economics degrees, you need maths A-level. Uh, if you maybe want to go to the LSC or Cambridge, many candidates, most successful candidates, have double maths, they have further maths. So you need to do maths and maths. Um, so many students, although there is some written work, and some writing, a lot of it is applied maths. So there's two branches really, um, calculus, integration, the application of those pure mathematical principles, and then there's econometrics, which is really the statistical study of economic data, and there's a lot of data of course, isn't there? So in a typical first year, do an introductory course to math, uh, mathematical economics, uh, mathematical modelling and then um, you do econometrics and you continue that in the second year and third year. And also core microeconomics, core macroeconomics at university is highly mathematical. I can't emphasise that enough. Um, so if you're really good at maths and interested in economics type issues then it's probably a good degree for you. Um, and employers certainly like it, certainly like economics. Uh, and they like business studies graduates too, um, because they're often highly numerate, mathematical, smart, and also can communicate in a written form as well. So uh, the pay and job prospects for economists are often pretty good, uh, even for PhD economists, or particularly for PhD economists perhaps. So um, you will have options, a few options, and it's worth comparing universities here. Some universities give you different options and more options. So for example, if you want to do the history of economic thought, environmental economics, transport economics, development economics, then uh, choose an appropriate university. Um, SOAS, for example, might be good if you want to focus more on development economics, for instance, in a particular excellence there and it might be a good idea doing a joint degree so if you're particularly great at maths do a joint degree of economics and maths um, or if you want something more discursive such as the A level then do economics with politics economics with geography economics with history these are all well trodden paths and doing a joint degree has a lot to commend it um, <clears throat> okay the next question might be, which university? All right. So, um, there's a few universities I've put down here, well-known universities, generally good for economics. But one way of looking at it is looking at the ranking of universities, you know, who's number one, who's number five, who's number ten, and that's, that's possibly an idea. But those rankings depend to be based on research criteria, so if you have cutting-edge research, is that good? Um, <clears throat> at a PhD level, that might be the case, but at degree level, I'm not so sure. Um, what really matters is the teaching and the ranking of the university for teaching. Uh, I particularly look at that. I look at their employment record, what percentage of graduates take up you know, good quality employment. Um, you might be able to work out how many firsts and two ones they give out. Some universities give out more than others. And what, what's more pertinent is how they assess you. Do you want a continuous assessment? Do you suit projects? Do you suit dissertations? Or do you want formal examinations? And the universities differ on this, and indeed when those important examinations take place. Um, I would say that it's very important to visit a university, get a feel for the university, and certainly look at student feedback. Um, I think rather than looking at numerical tables, if you can try and get a feel for the student feedback, that gives you a good idea. Are the lecturers friendly, open, 
helpful um, to our students intellectually stimulated um, by their experiences at the university department. And of course, it's not only what happens in the department, there's also extra um, you know, stuff like economic societies and that sort of thing. I mean, the LSC has a fantastic programme of extra lectures, for example. So, I mean, undoubtedly, LSC and UCL are world, world renowned and great institutions. But do bear in mind for Cambridge and LSC, you probably need double maps, you need further maps as well as maps A level. Um, Oxford doesn't do economics in a straight form, it does PPE or economics and management. Economics and management is extremely competitive. They also do a small joint honours school of economics and history. Um, and obviously Durham, Exeter have great reputations. Um, of the new universities, York, Warwick and Bath stand out. Particularly Bath, for example, has a year out where you work in commerce in some sort of commercial setting or you might work at the Bank of England or the civil service that year is obviously very good a making contacts or particularly getting actual work experience in an economic setting um, and obviously a lot of great red brick universities people often don't think of Liverpool and Newcastle both good universities reputable economics departments worth looking at obviously also Birmingham Nottingham and of course, it's look, worth looking at Bristol. Um, of the outliers, so that there's Southampton is worth looking at, uh, as is Essex, has a very good economics and social science department, politics department, good there too. Glasgow, and obviously I haven't put Edinburgh on here, as St Andrews has a magnificent reputation as well. Um, so they're worth looking at. Um, I would say, do you want to be in a town? Do you want to be in a city? Do you want to be on a campus? That's the type of key decision to make if you're in a city. London is unique, is special, and is particularly large, and you know, it's, a, it's, a, it's one of the world's mega cities, arguably. Whereas Birmingham, Nottingham, Bristol are a bit different with their own charms, but you need to find out. And of course, you could go to the USA, and you could go to Europe, worth considering. Um, and then, I think what we will look at is business studies. So business studies or management studies is really an amalgam. It's definitely an applied degree and it's definitely interdisciplinary and it's an amalgam of finance, HR, human relations, a bit of psychology there, a bit of sociology. Um, also, how the economy affects a business is a key part of business studies and you will study marketing, and accounting as well. You know, how do you know how well a business study is doing? Is it making a profit? Okay, you might also do about, you, you also do corporate strategy, okay? Um, and generally, business studies leads to, to pretty good employment in terms of people going to management. Economists go into, some economists go into economics, they work for, say, the Bank of England or in the city. Um, but as I say, it's a very well respected degree with quite an impressive um, lifetime earnings um, consequent on studying economics. So I hope that's helpful. Thank you for watching.